okay mm -hmm. so either facebook or google okay or microsoft any of the social networking sites okay so these guys mm -hmm. what they do is they allow you to you know develop the applications right so while developing the mm -hmm. applications they uh, they allow you to you know authenticate by using this id so maybe your application mm -hmm. does not have any uh, in, uh, integration required with the Facebook but okay. maybe uh, there's a form to fill that form or to send that submit button you need somebody mm -hmm. to validate that it should not be uh, anonymous right so in that case what okay. you'll do is in that page you'll integrate with a third party uh, identity verification you can't say that you know mm -hmm. hey, you must have to uh, uh, we can't say that you must have to register with us we can't say right we'll say that you know we don't if you don't registered please use your facebook to you know sign in mm -hmm. okay or google so that way what they do is they would uh, uh, you know post the comments or they can you know get in touch with us so what we do is in the background as a developer uh, while doing the facebook application okay mm -hmm. while doing the facebook uh, development what we do is uh, so in the Facebook uh, while developing the application we would you know collect few information like their email ID their phone number or their friends list mm -hmm. okay such things we would you know in just some we will collect it so that <laughs> it will be storing for us Okay. okay now so that we know you know tomorrow if we want to contact we can contact them so Adi provide access to sub subset of so and so email ID all these you know we're trying to you know uh, collect it from the scope so as an admin what you need is the developer will be giving you the app ID application secret okay so this is a key this is the app ID a unique ID which given by Facebook and that yes. applications password is this to manage mm -hmm. okay so these two things we would get it from the Facebook and we simply give it here and mm -hmm. in that website we would you know uh, we would configure something called redirection mm -hmm. so that page will redirect to actual Facebook page okay mm -hmm. there you enter the username password for the Facebook then automatically it, it gets logged in same case with no. the um, Google authentication. Okay, so let's you know um, if we want. Let's five minutes. Okay, max five minutes. We can give it a try with the Google. Okay. Um, so here, if I go to the Google, let's simply choose this. How to do this link? Uh, so if I open in my Chrome, this is always new for me. Uh, so this is what we have to do. So what I'll do is I'll navigate to um, Google API's Okay, Google API is my uh, Applications, okay so example uh, I've already created looks like some project long back Share yeah. So identity it's fine okay Google API is simple um, I'll go here Google Plus if not enable API So Google API. So we enable this. Okay. So while enabling, uh, credentials create yeah create credentials for what client ID if I'm correct let me choose the documentation so portal API enable credentials worth uh, consent screen okay this one okay I choose as the 
web application so this is my web web client uh, maybe you know land file 6 example uh, authorization URI reader right so in authorization the web application URL copy the application so this one for example mm -hmm. this is the one this doesn't work you know we'll simply you know ignore uh, file 6 dot as your website dot net say create one second where should be authorized java uh, author javascript then paste your redirection into uh, paste the app url so app url is len file one right so that's the one which we missed out looks like yesterday so mm -hmm. let's configure that java okay and this say create uh, so origin uri contain the path end with okay so this should not be that so now I got this here is your client ID here is your secret code secret code so let's go back here to Google authentication this is client ID this is my path sorry the secret click OK I would say that this one login with Google save so it is saved now the same app if I try to refresh once again let me refresh I, I yeah now it is changing see mm. it's pointing to the Google so I should be no login now this time with my account then only it will come <laughs> okay so it's open now right so that's how wow. you configure the uh, thing so I mean you know to be honest I have not developed any application now okay I just use the authentication somebody is validated mm -hmm. the user is a genuine user not yes. right so that's into the app authentication side okay, okay same thing for the other thing but we missed out somewhere honestly that Java yeah yesterday we missed java okay and now also we are able to miss but luckily we saw that okay mm -hmm. but the facebook one you know here it is actually we forgot to you know okay. somewhere you know this is actually this documentation is not up to date for the okay. facebook one if you you don't mm -hmm. find as it is these values okay. seen you know, many times but the same thing if i you know google somewhere uh, to create an application in a mm. development developing an application in Facebook then they give you mm. proper steps if you follow that and then okay. you do this change automatically it okay. works that's how last time I have done I've not followed these mm. steps because these are not uh, working for me okay. Okay. because this is these steps are from Facebook developer not from the Microsoft site Okay, same case with the Twitter. If you have a Twitter, okay, um, you do the same mm -hmm. thing. Okay, just the oh. callback so that it goes there, and uh, that's it. Okay, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and uh, okay, we have been doing this in the website, web web based, mm -hmm. right? Let's try mm -hmm. from the. Let's try from the. Uh, web app actually 